Hola y bienvenidos y bienvenidas a un nuevo vídeo del canal Estamos aquí de vuelta con Genshin Impact Y hoy nos toca por fin hacer una cosa que me habéis estado pidiendo muchísima gente Que es la misión, ¿vale? De Arconte, del intermedio del acto 3 Que es una historia aún por terminar Para recabar más información acerca de tu hermana Paimon y tú os dirigís al santuario de Surastasa Para hacerle una visita a Naida Por el camino escucha una conversación muy curiosa Vamos allá y vamos a ver en este caso porque tenemos que subir a la parte de más arriba, ¿vale? De Sumeru. Podemos hacerlo de dos maneras. Una de ellas es con el TP que tenemos por aquí. Así que vamos a hacerla fácil. Y ahora sí que sí, vamos al lío. Come on, serious suggestions, please. I'm not trying to write a thriller here. It's supposed to be an essay, you understand? An essay. That means facts and logic. Well, if it's facts and logic you're after, you shot yourself in the foot with your choice of research topic, didn't you? The Tatara soon a mystery. When so much remains unexplained, there's little to be objective about. Un yeah, well, uh, this is my teacher's area of research. I can't change that. But it's fascinating enough without having to sensationalize it, don't you think? I want to write my essay on something interesting, and I'm interested in getting to the bottom of all this. That's the only reason I came to you. Yes, you came to me. So all the more reason to take my advice. The fact is, it's the dramatization that will make people want to read it. Uh... Did one of them just mention Tatara Suna? But... That's all the way in Inazuma! Is it just Paimon or is it kinda unusual for someone in Sumeru to want to write a paper about that? Uh, everyone here is just going about their business. Deberíamos Maybe escuchar really un poco más. Just... Great! Let's go find out what this Tatara Suna mystery is all about. Vamos a ver. La transposición de la Génesis. Tra eh, intermedio, acto 3. Por fin estamos aquí. Y bueno, parece que tenemos que hablar con los eruditos, así que al lío que vamos. Hey! All right, I guess I'll go with my textual criticism and your editorial direction for the first draft. I have a feeling that the missing Kabuki Mono will end up being the main focus of this paper. Ugh, if only we knew where to find that traveler. From what they say about him, this seems like the kind of thing he'd know about. Me buscabas? Oh, you're the traveler, you say? Hmm. Hey, what's with that face? Don't believe us? Pues aquí te quedas. No, no. Of course I believe you. Actually, I first heard about your great exploits when I was still in Inazuma. This is my first time coming face to face with you and your mysterious silver-haired companion. I couldn't believe my luck, and out of force of habit, I started uh examining the evidence. Oh, so what? For the love of <laughs> Sorry, we don't get out much, so our social skills are kind of lacking. Uh, traveler, I hear you've helped many people a great deal and been to many places. Would you be able to tell us about Tatarasuna? Actually, we don't know much about that place either. In fact, we only came over here because we heard you talking about it and wanted to learn more. Ah, uh, I see. My teacher chose this area of research as a personal challenge. He said it's difficult to get into because even Inazumans don't know much about Tatarasuna's past. If you don't mind, I'd love to show you all my outline for the book I'm writing about Tatarasuna. Oh, uh, hold on, Sawada. Don't you think that's a bit of a deep dive for a first read? Well, fair point. In that case, please ease yourselves in gently by taking a look at Akaba's latest essay draft. Let me give you some background. This all started with the discovery of some records in Tatarasuna. The writings mentioned someone by the name of Mikoshi vale, es que who crafted a fine blade. But in the end, he threw it into a fire to destroy it and killed his servant Katsuragi. Why? Well, no one knows. Apart from the sword maker, his servant, and the one who wrote this all down, the records also mention a kabuki mono. This seems to be an Inazuman word for an eccentric stranger. Someone who dresses funny or acts in an unusual way. That's right. Akaba's teacher has spent quite some time researching these events on the ground. This Kabuki Mono lived in Tatara Suna for a while before disappearing without a trace. And shortly afterwards, as Akaba mentioned, things got pretty ugly. 
So first this strange person goes missing, then a murder happens? Hmm, seems kind of fishy to Paimon. Yes, my thoughts exactly. So I helped out too. I asked everyone I could think of if they knew anything about what happened back then. And wow, did I get lucky! Stop shouting! This part's important. I just wanted to make it stand out. It just so happens that a friend of mine works at the government records office. He looked into it for me, and I can now confirm that all the aforementioned individuals did, in fact, live in Inazuma over 400 years ago. Even back then, Tatara Suna was already at the center of Inazuma's smelting industry. The man in charge was a government official named Niwa. Curiously enough, it seems like he went missing too. Wait, so there are two missing people in the story now? That's right! What's more, Niwa is a name with a lot of history to it. Have you ever heard of the great swordsmith clans of Inazuma? Oh, the swordsmiths? Yeah, um, like Ishin Art and so on? Wow, yes. You really know your stuff. That makes things easier. So, basically, this Niwa was a distant relative of the Kaidahara clan, the last practitioners of Ishin Art. Something then seems to have happened in the Kaidahara clan, leading to their downfall. I don't know the details, but taken in light of everything else going on around that time, it makes you wonder whether it's all connected somehow. The Kaidahara clan? Sawada, you left out the biggest detail of all. It's going to mass. Oh, yes, of course. How could I forget? Brace your minds, ladies and gents, for they are about to be blown. Or maybe you won't believe your ears. I wouldn't blame you, of course, because in all my years as a writer, this is by far the most. Get to the point, for Pete's sake. According to information acquired by Akaba's teacher, the Kabuki Mono was not a human, but a puppet. Um, vale. <coughs> Hmm. Aha! Judging by the looks on your faces, you do know something after all. Uh... <laughs> vale, vamos a decirle que no diga nada, pero obviamente está yo aquí está con escaramucha básicamente. <laughs> How creepy! The way you described it makes it sound like a ghost story. I agree. It does. But considering that non-human races in Inazuma are by no means uncommon, spooky events are to be expected. And that's exactly what my book is about. Please, take a look. Vale. Autor Sawada. Tenemos aquí un tochaco. Oh, and please read my essay draft as well. Vale. Aquí está lo de Nozomu, lo de la... Vale. Vale. Teganeo, inspector, aquí está todo lo que... Estos son cosas que vimos en... En lo del evento. Sawada so was encouraging <coughs> me to follow his more creative approach, but I think essays should be grounded in facts. I don't think explaining everything away with mysterious forces will cut it. Oh, how about if I plug the holes in Sawana's narrative with political intrigue? Like, um, I could put a turf war between rival factions at the center of the whole series of events. Wait, you're allowed to just make stuff up? Pretty sure you've gone from essay to guessay there. 
Sí que es una novela. Acaba, look. Your teacher has researched this extensively. I've reached out to everyone I could think of. Whatever information we have now is all that there is to know. This is as much detail as you're ever going to get. Besides, if there really was a political power struggle going on at anything like the level you seem to be suggesting, what hope would we ever have of finding out the truth? Ugh, good point. Okay, back to the drawing board, I guess. Hey, give me some time. I need to find a new angle on this. Será mejor que los deje trabajar. We have some other stuff to do, so we'll have to say goodbye for now. Good luck with your essay. All right, thank you. If you find out any more info about all this, please do let me know. Thanks so much. <coughs> vale. Poca broma, eh, pero aquí había traya como siempre con el tema de las quests. <coughs> vamos a ver porque esto tiene que ver con nuestro amigo de escaramucha, así que vamos a decirle que sí y vamos a ver qué pasa. Sí, estoy escaramucha. ¿Qué te ocurre? Sí, 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 sí lo he visto, pero está ahí, está caminando. Vamos a ver. Pues ya lo estáis viendo aquí, esta escaramucha, así que parece que toca seguirlo por el jardín de raza. Y ojo, eh, esto puede significar que lo han liberado. Ya sabéis que ahora está disponible como personaje, así que entiendo que alguna historieta le habrán metido. Así que vamos de lleno a ver qué pasa con nuestro amigo. Vamos a entrar en el santuario. Y aquí está Naida. ¡Eh! Hey, Naida y escaramucha. ¿What? ¡Eh! Hey. Ya sabéis que su nombre es real. En la antigüedad fue Kuni Kushi. Nahida, bad news. We just saw the balladeer strolling around in public. Did he escape or? Ah, it's him. <laughs> sure enough, you're here. Hey, what are you doing in the sanctuary of Sarasthana? Aren't you supposed to be locked up? I know you must have a lot of questions. Please allow me to explain. It was my idea to set the balladeer free. We made a deal, and he's gonna do some investigation in Ermansol for me. A deal? <laughs> you sure you trust this guy? What did you expect? Why do you think Sumero would keep me around otherwise? Or maybe killing me is all you can think about. But if that's the case, why haven't you done it already? Don't flatter yourself. It was... Nahida said there's still some mysteries in you to figure out. Ah, so if it were up to you, you'd finish the job? Guess I had you all wrong. There I was thinking you were just getting cold feet. Hmm. Uh, well, that escalated quickly. Not a good start. Could I ask you all to please calm down? But Paimon's worried about you, Nahida. Don't let him trick you. <laughs> It's not every day you see people questioning the God of Wisdom's judgment. Just when you think you've seen it all. Don't you dare try to drive a wedge between us! As long as the terms are reasonable, I don't think there's a problem in making a deal. Even with the balladeer. Well, I for one have no reason to doubt you. Considering you even struck a deal with a doctor. Yes, one in which I gained valuable information. You'll come to understand more about that in the fullness of time. The Paladier's power was all but completely spent after your battle. He's no longer strong enough to be a strategic threat to us. That puts him in quite a precarious position. Plus, he's a former Harbinger with knowledge of many of the Fatui's sensitive secrets. Being stuck here in Sumeru could make him a sitting duck, depending on how the Fatui plan to respond. Wait a second. Farmer? You mean, he's not a Harbinger anymore? I take no pleasure in saying this, but it seems as if the doctor had no intention of welcoming back a loser. So... Vamos, que le han dado la patada al pobre escaramucha. Sometimes it's you using them, other times it's them using you. 
Most human relationships are this way. Certainly all the stable ones are. That's how it was between me and the Fatui. And also between each of the Harbingers. So as long as you have some value to offer, nobody will ever abandon you. But after recent events, even I have to admit that I'm not worth quite what I used to be. Vaya, qué pena. Creo que voy a llorar y todo. <laughs> well, if the Fatui are going to reevaluate my utility, I need to have a backup plan for myself. As we discussed, I don't like causing harm to living beings, and you said you need protection. So, why not join forces with us? I think these two have made their objection to that idea fairly clear, don't you? And they're your friends, so I guess you'll be siding with them. Yeah, obviously! Nahira, don't listen to him! Then let's put that discussion to the side for now. Today can be a trial run. Where we go from here will depend on how well we manage to cooperate today. All right, then I'll do what we agreed. Good. Go now and keep in touch. Nahira, are you... are you serious about this? Yes. I have my reasons for this decision. In fact, I'm largely doing it for your benefit. Yo? Yes. As I told you once before, there's information about your twin in Ermin Soul. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's the whole reason we came to see you today. So, you have an update on that? Mm-hmm. You may remember me mentioning that the Fatui had not included your twin's details in the Descender category. It's possible that the Fatui have other information that even I don't know about. And since the Balladeer used to be one of them, he'll be better acquainted with this information than I am. He was granted the power to connect with Soul when he almost became the god of a new era. Even though he no longer has the Gnosis, the amount of information in Ermansol is vast beyond description. Sifting through all of it without knowing what to look for would take too long, so I asked the Balladeer to search in Ermansol for any information about the Descenders. He's more familiar with this kind of information and should be able to find it more quickly. Pero ¿y si te engaña, Nahida? Exactly! Or what if you He's treated us as enemies every time we've run into him. I understand. But sometimes everything is dictated by which side you're on. How things will go in the future depends on what information he brings back. Our minds have connected several times before. There is a corner of your heart reserved for an intense longing. A feeling of being all alone in the dark. As Sumeru's deity, it is my responsibility to be on guard against the Balladeer. But as someone who counts you as a friend, a ver, es normal, I want to do something for you. If this deal with the Balladeer can give you the answers you've been wanting to find, it's worth it. It's my pleasure, really. You're Sumeru's hero. I wasn't so worried about this idea. I was going to contact you about that, but I wasn't so worried about this idea. I was going to contact you about that, but then you suddenly showed up on your own accord. It seems like we have a telepathic connection. In fact, I was going to ask you to supervise the Balladeer on my behalf while he carries out the task I assigned. Even though he only has a fraction of his full power left, that's still a fraction of a former Harbinger. If you could accompany him, it would put my mind at ease. Of course, vale. I'll be there to help guide you through Ermansoul from the outside. Muy bien. Great. Think, prepare yourselves. I'm going to transport you into Ermansoul. Pues parece que nos vamos a salir Minsul, gente, así que entiendo que aquí tendremos que hacer alguna batallita y aquí está el árbol más bonito de Sumeru. The colors are gentler. Guess that must be because Sumeru. Vale, vamos a ver qué pasa con Sumeru. Look at that. Hot on my heels. You know, you didn't have to cut your catch up short just to keep me company. Oh. But I guess you panicked when you realized that I might enter Ermin's soul ahead of you. Naida me pidió que hiciera de canguro. Shut your beak, jailbird! No way a prisoner gets to be so smug! I understand that prisoners have to put up with harassment from the guards. But right now, I'm on temporary release. So maybe you should think about backing off a little. Sounds like a successful rendezvous. I need to be quite clear about something. In a few moments, You'll be entering into the innermost region of Ermansoul, unlike anywhere else. 
Ermensoul's inner region consists exclusively of torrents of information. You must put aside your differences and be extremely careful as you navigate your way through. I know there are many grievances between you on both sides, but it is essential that you remain calm after entry. Fine, let's call it truce. But only until this mission's over. Let's cut each other a little slack, shall we? We are going to be traveling together after all. Per my agreement with Lesser Lord Kusanali, I'll be at the front. It's my job to lead the way and get rid of any obstacles in our path. <laughs> bueno, pues vamos a ver qué pasa con Escaramuza que yo no. You make it sound like you're even more experienced at adventuring than us. If there are no further objections, I suggest we get going. Or did you need some time to mentally prepare yourselves? Qué chulo que es. The snark on this guy. It's unbearable. Ahora del sarcasmo. We can start now. Vale, pues vamos a ello. Ok, parece que estamos enlazándonos con el árbol. Así que vamos a ver qué pasa. Vamos tras, vamos tras nuestro amigo Kuni. No se parece en nada a lo que había imaginado. Es como el árbol en digital, ¿no? Ermin's soul is closely intertwined with the entirety of Tavat. Every bit of information flowing here means something. Pick your jaws up off the floor. Why is it that Paimon just wants to do the opposite of everything he says? Lesser Lord Kusanali, we will now proceed to the heart of Ermin's Can you still sense where the heart of Ermin's soul is? Yes. Permission to begin searching for information there? Permission granted. Go ahead. Vale. Let's go. Hey, so say we did go running off in here. <laughs> what, what are you smirking at? I was just imagining the look on your travel companion's face if you went and got lost. Anything's possible in here. You can't rule anything out. So if you want to stay safe, Qué creepy, no? the best option is to. Vale. Vamos a mantenernos cerca antes de que se líe, pero bueno, parece que hay que seguir a escaramucha por esta especie de lugar. Lleno de conocimiento. Vale, los fragmentos han disipado. Those are all packets of information from inside Ermensol. No toca. Be careful not to touch them. There's a time and a place to lie, but this definitely isn't it. So why don't you relax your guard a little? Vale, esto es como el centro, ¿no? We're here. What a huge tree! Este es el corazón de Dimensul. Toda la información de este mundo circula por aquí. Lesser Lord Kusanali. Good, you made it. Are you ready? Ready when you are. Then please begin. Preparing to access cognitive currents. Establishing waypoint. The Balladeer is actually doing what Nahida tells him. Guess he must want to stay alive. No solo nos ha asistido, también parece que se da muy bien estar al frente. Sería este su trabajo dentro de los Fatui? Primeras historias de Akawa y Sawada. Ahora esto, ¿qué tipo tan curioso? The rest is up to you. If you discover anything at all, make sure to share it with us. We'll do. Vale. For once, we're the ones with nothing to do. Eso es verdad. Vamos a dejar que haga él su trabajo. Traveler, Paimon, would you like to talk? Nahida, ¿estás hablando telepáticamente? Yes, I've also invited Paimon to join. I? What the? We can talk to each other inside our heads? Paimon flipadísimo. Supongo que no quieres molestar a las caras mucho. That's part of it. Plus, we're all friends. 
There's nothing wrong with us talking like this once in a while. Hyman's never tried this before. This is great! So, Hyman's been wanting to ask you something. Don't you think the Balladeer's a bit of a walking contradiction? He's always talking back, but he seems to listen to what you say. Y además parece que su punto fuerte es hacer tareas extrañas para otros. As I've told you before, there are still some mysteries for him to resolve. Things that are clear as day to me, perhaps today will be the day that he... Tiene que ver con su pasado, con las tradiciones y los eventos que tuvieron lugar en Inazuma en el pasado. Well done. Smart and attentive as always. Lo cierto es que vislumbré algunos recuerdos cuando me encontré con Hypasia en el Jardín Guillay. Le contamos lo que vimos en la mente de Escaramucha. So, you made contact with that part of his mind. Well, Básicamente dice que eso true. es lo que lo convirtió en la persona que es ahora. Even if you're a puppet created by the Electro Archon. Speaking of puppets, we ran into two people at the Academia today talking about an essay. Turns out their topic was about the Tatara Suna incident. If you mean the mysterious events, the Kabuki vale, and so on. Todo. Really? Because from what they were saying, it sounded like lots of Tatara Suna's history is still unexplained. Vale, parece que estamos contando ahí lo que hemos visto con Sawada y su compañera Kaba, así que nada. Mm, ya han adivinado cosas. Ojo. You're having a private conversation without me. Obviously, I must be the topic of said conversation. Tenemos todo el derecho, tenemos todo el derecho a tener secretos. Of course you do. You can't have your prisoner knowing too much. So, uh, have you found anything yet? Still looking. Don't get your hopes up though. You and your twin come from outside this world. It wouldn't surprise me if there was nothing on either of you in Ermin's soul at all. Wait. About that. Didn't Ahita tell you? It's not like we've never met before. And anyway, you're world famous. It'd be more surprising if I didn't know a few things about you. Al menos ya no está molesto. Right now, we have to keep the peace. I'm not interested in creating more misery for myself. Huh? Wait. Vale, parece que ha encontrado algo y ahí tenemos la memoria, ¿no? This light. It looks similar to those saplings. What could it be? Anonymous data. Hey, don't you forget the agreement. You have to share it with us. Shh. Just wait. A ver. Mr. Niwa, are you Señor Niwa está seguro de que no apenas está hablando nada más y nada menos que la de Tatsuna. Tal vez no deberíamos precipitarnos. Nadie más puede hacerlo, tengo que ser yo quien entre. Ya veo, si insiste. Es el señor que está a cargo de la fraude de Tatsuna. Y el heredero de la técnica Ishin. <risa> Mola cómo están sacando cosas del lore de Genshin aquí en esta misión. O sea, es una maravilla. I have been in Tatara Suna for some time now. Ay, you have shown me great hospitality. Es mi Koshinaga Nagamasa. And indeed, everyone else. Under your leadership, Tatara Suna is a warm, welcoming place. Bueno, un personaje like del pasado. Like a giant village. People are gainfully employed. As I understand, the Raiden Shogun has, in recent years, eliminated much of the evil that plagued Inazuma. As for Tatara Suna, it was originally established as a means of safely disposing Crystal Marrow. The forging industry with Crystal Marrow as a raw material has since flourished, giving rise to generations of swordsmiths. Skills, blood, dreams. Every smith brought into this trade looks to find their purpose between steel and blade. That is why you accepted the proposal brought to you by myself and Akame. Yes, well, were it not for you coming to Inazuma and happening to make Akame's acquaintance, the two of you never would have joined forces. You allowed Akame to take all the credit for a method that you jointly developed. He sold it to me, and now 
every piece of ore here is smelted using the new technique. Even now, you remain one of Tatarasuna's key consultants, working right here alongside us. I. <laughs> you flatter me. From the outset, I saw much that was commendable in the forging industry of Inazuma. Salió un poquito el nombrado también en el evento de lo de Inazuma. So you say, Asher. But is this really the truth? My good sir, what do you mean? I tried to resist thinking it was all connected, because I didn't want to speculate, and I didn't want to believe that things could turn out this way. What have we gained from adopting your new technology? Ominous black smoke, mounting production problems, worker fatigue and casualties are up and continuing to rise at an alarming rate. And recently, as you well know, someone died because of that strange filth inside the furnace. We've kept the truth from spreading outside, but still, none of the people who went out to get help have come back. Now, our mutual friend, the Kabuki Mono, is taking the Golden Feather to Narukami Island to seek an audience with Shogun. This is our last hope. But that doesn't phase you, does it, Escher? Nothing does. Otherwise, why would you still be standing there with that smile on your face? <laughs> I'm just surprised that you finally chose to be so sincere. <sighs> Mikoshi Nagamasa may have noticed that there was one common denominator among all these events. Namely you, Escher. But Mr. After all, Nagamasa is the adopted son of Mikoshi Torichio, the yokai struck down by the Shogun's own hand. If he truly seeks to redeem his family's honor, an abundance of caution is well advised. You're well informed on the subtleties of his situation for a mechanic all the way from Fontaine. Are you sure you're not a little overqualified? <laughs> Why, Mr. Niwa? Are you suggesting I find a job as a diplomat? Sadly, I am so very attached to my craft. Enough, Escher. I'm here because an evil force is raging inside the furnace. And someone needs to take your new device inside the high-risk zone so we can absorb it and put an end to the problem. I'm in charge here. Madre mía, esto, la verdad que es súper interesante lo de esta misión. Es de las que te revelan un montón de cosas de Inazuma, de cosas que hemos ido viendo. Judging from the look in your eyes, you don't seem to trust me. Drop the act. We're past that now. Whoever you are, it looks like your plan to destroy Tatara Suna has worked. I just want to know what you're still doing here. What's left? Don't you have all your answers by now? Honestly, I'm just waiting for the right moment. A moment like this. Where you finish talking and I stop you from entering the furnace. <sighs> you. Se ha cargado. You. <sighs> You're a little smarter than I initially gave you credit for. I thought I'd disguise myself exceptionally well. At least for the first few days. It's a long journey from Inazuma to Fontaine, but that didn't stop them. Eventually, they managed to confirm that Escher was an alias. And yet, despite all of that, you still fail to realize my true identity. If you kill me, there's no one who can get inside the furnace. So you're really going to destroy this place? Oh, but you're quite wrong. There is one other person. Mm, some may not see him as a person, but you told him yourself. You're not a puppet. You're a human. <laughs> Whoever you're working for won't get away vale. with this. They'll be found Ellos out. Que... Ostras, esto no me lo esperaba así, eh? It's no trouble at all. Patience is a virtue which I have in abundance. If you must know, I'm happy to divulge my true identity. I'm a Fatui Harbinger. Call me vale, es el doctor, doctor. Eh, claro. Entonces, Escher era el doctor the, infiltrado, como siempre, y aquí por fin vemos, entendemos el tema de lo que pasó en Inazuma con la forja. A Qué fuerte, chaval. Bueno, por fin hemos visto a doctores sin máscara. That's it. That's why you gave us your cursed technology. 
Look how even the righteous soul is filled with venom when faced with its demise. My device functions precisely as you say. It is the only chance you have of preventing a catastrophe and keeping the truth from the outside world. However, I did not make it with you. It is easier for a person to be possessed by evil spirits when they are filled with hate. So give in to your fury. I want to see what happens when a malevolent heart is placed into an unsuspecting puppet. Make no mistake, even without you, that pure, innocent puppet would only end up being used by someone else instead. What other reason would a human claro, have for befriending one who de, is not of our kind? If you give him my heart, tell him that both Nagamasa and I see him as one of us. He has nothing to prove to anyone. Because not every What a beautiful way to see the world. It almost makes me feel a little guilty. Think of me as a monster or a demon, if you wish. At least this way your death is not a consequence of your own folly turning you into an easy target. I say, Mr. Niwa, bueno. let's see what happens. Will your puppet friend become a human? Mr. Niwa. Already dead. Vale, entonces aquí entendimos por fin cómo murió Niwa. Este fue el que lo apuñaló. Vale. Ahí está Doctor ya con su apariencia actual. Pierotto. Creating a gap and infiltrating vale. Inazuma's inner workings. <laughs> What fun it was. I'd like to introduce a puppet to you. If he proves useful, let's make him our newest comrade. And if not, let's turn him to Just. Madre mía, Dottori, cómo lo tenía todo planeado junto a Pierotto. Y aquí parece que por fin Escaramucha se acaba de quedar a cuadros cuando ha descubierto la verdad. Dottori. Dottori. Good. Good. Was that the doctor? Did he turn into a mechanic from Fine? Él estuvo detrás del incidente de Tatarasuna. Why do we see things from his perspective? When I touched the doctor to confirm whether he'd eliminated all his segments, I read this memory in his mind. You have to... Maybe so, but it means nothing. Does it? But this memory shows that Niwa didn't betray you. He never meant for you to be the one to take the device into the furnace. You know very well what that means. Even more so than I. <sighs> Así que aquella tradición en realidad es una aventura que he creído durante cientos de años. Formaba todo esto parte del experimento de Doctor E? Si nunca fue traicionado, entonces está todo en su imaginación. ¿Qué pasará ahora con él? Bien, esperemos ahí, Raymond. Pues bastante, bastante bestias todo esto, ¿eh? O sea, el pobre se ha sentido traicionado. Doctor E había planeado todo desde hace tiempo. Y claro, ahora Escaramucha se está planteando todo lo que ha vivido y lo que ha sabido desde hace años porque resulta que es todo una mentira. Me ha molado mucho, eh. tengo que decirlo de que estas misiones al final aportan un montón. En, este, en esta actualización sobre todo nos hemos centrado en el contenido de lo de las cartas. Y es un poco lo más tocho, ¿no? Pero aquí por fin, es, eh, aparte de los dos personajes nuevos de tanto Escaramucha como Faruzan, vemos este tipo de cositas que la verdad que está muy bien. Vale. And absorb all the filth caused by this. The load was far beyond what he expected, but the balladeer survived. He left the furnace in sheer exhaustion and said to the mechanic, This device seems to have protected me. What's in it? The mechanic answered, Niwa fled this place for fear of punishment, but he left you a gift. He said it's the one thing that you've been looking for. 
the mechanic removed the withered heart from the device as he spoke. The balladeer was stunned that such unthinkable cruelty had brought him the thing he'd been longing for his entire life. A heart acquired through cold-blooded murder is a cursed thing. He thought Niwa had completely betrayed him. Claro, está claro que obviamente no era traicionó Niwa, sino que fue Doctor y su gran plan. La verdad que ha sido bastante, bastante horrible, pero bueno, hemos visto aquí como, como la crueldad de Doctor no tiene límites, es literalmente un buen villano. Y bueno, él pensó que había sido traicionado y abandonado por su mejor amigo y el resentimiento de aquellos recuerdos lo reconcomió. Fue por eso que decidió vengarse de las cinco escuelas de Raiden hace 100 años. La venganza nunca es la solución correcta. Vale, pues parece que por fin, eh, lo que digo, hemos desbloqueado el misterio de Tarasuna. Niwa no run de justicia. You killed him. Y a ver. Más tarde, ¿vale? Shall we see how he's doing? ¿Cómo estás? Hey, you all right? <laughs> That's a scary expression. Are you worried about me? If we didn't have such a history, I'd almost think that qualifies me to be your friend. Solo queremos asegurarnos de que el acuerdo sigue en pie. It won't. I'll keep my end of the deal. Hmm. Hey, are you investigating the stuff we want to know about? That's why we're here. Vale. But unfortunately, there's no information no about the Sanders in el, en el, en el está claro. Even if you can't find anything, that seems to confirm it. Ermin Soul does not keep records on the descenders. Oh, does that mean we have to leave empty-handed? Bueno, a ver, por lo menos se la ha descubierto. Me lo esperaba, pero gracias de todas formas. Don't thank me just yet. Hmm, you look really upset. <laughs> well, since Ermin Soul was a dead end, I guess I can share some other info that might interest you. Huh? About what? The reason why there are records about your sister and Ermin Soul. It might have something to do with Conria. Apparently, Conria was her first destination when she arrived in this world. Plus, she only came to this world because the heavens responded to the summoning. The heavens responded? The jester told me this himself. You can take his word on this. He was a royal mage in Conria. And lived Buffon? with your sister for a time. I don't know the details. Hermano? It's up to you whether you want to believe me. All I can say is... I wouldn't lie to you about this. Oh, el doctor está mentido, no sé cuánto tiempo, pero bueno. Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yes. Astonishing news. Does this info count towards my mission? It wasn't for Merman Soul, but was it valuable? Very valuable. Vale. Good. In that case, I'll take some time for myself now. Vale. Huh? What have you done? Lesser Lord Kusanali was right. My powers all but completely spent. Even if I use all of the divine power left, I shared a secret with you, and now you owe me. So in return, I'd like you to answer a question for ¿De me. ¿De qué se trata? Give me your hand. Vale, nos pide que le demos la mano. No termino de fiar aquí del amigo, pero vamos. Can you hear my voice inside your head? ¿Estás intentando invadir mi conciencia? No, I can't do anything like that anymore. At most. All I can do is exchange a few words with you. So tell me, in this world, is it possible? ¿Mm? ¿Por qué me preguntas algo así? Done. Huh? What the? What happened? I not only saw you hold hands for a second. Nothing. I was just thanking him for helping me. Esa expresión será porque me vi, me vi dudar. Solo fue porque si yo recuerdo a la reina. ¿Qué? Le he dado la respuesta que quería. So long. I suggest you get yourselves out of here quickly. Where are you going? Hey, what are you doing? Didn't you say not to go running off? Escaramucha, detente! Fast reaction time. Está dentro. But I don't think we'll be seeing each other again. Wow. From this day forth, the names Balladeer and Kabuki Mono will cease to exist. Those who died in Tatarasuna because of me deserve another chance at life. Hey, Balladeer, don't do anything stupid! You know, I never did like insects. Hordes of the puny things swarming together can be a real nuisance. 
and I enjoy nothing more than to stamp them out like the pests they are. But if a colony of harmless ants isn't threatening anyone, I guess they deserve to be left vale, alone. Que de todo lo que ha Uh oh, he disappeared. Come on, we gotta find him somehow. Pero si se supone que se ha metido ahí dentro, ¿qué vamos a encontrar? Es la pregunta. Le contamos lo que ha pasado con nuestro amiguito y el Irmisul. I didn't think he'd be capable of something like that with so little power. Did he keep some of his power hidden when he was defeated? Or did he achieve something beyond his abilities and it took everything he had? Where the heck did he go? Oh, it's all our fault. We were supposed to keep an eye on him. Don't be. It's not your fault. Please, let me handle this from here. We're running out of time. Follow my lead and get out of Ermensul as... Vale, tenemos que salir de Ermensul como sea, así que entiendo que... O nos llevan ya fuera o nos quedamos aquí en este mundo tan bonito y nos parece que ya estamos fuera, vale. We're out. And we're at... Uh, estamos en una posada, ¿sí? This is an emergency. I'll have to ask you to stay here for now. Everything's arranged. And nobody will disturb Najida, deja que te ayude. I'm sorry, but this isn't something I need your help with. An emergency? How bad is it? Nahida, will you be okay? Don't worry. If my assessment is correct, though there may be some minor disturbances, it won't lead to a disaster. Please rest and recover your strength here until... Pues nada, dice que descansen aquí. Paimon can't shake the feeling that something really big has happened. What do you think the Balladeer meant? And why did he suddenly grab onto you before? Paimon tampoco recuerda a la reina mayor Ruka de Bata y la pregunta es que no mucha fumista. Ni siquiera sabría cómo explicarlo todo y podría preocuparla aún más. Será mejor que no le hable a la reina mayor Ruka de Bata y me centre en Escaramucha. Le contamos a Paimon todo lo que ha pasado con Escaramucha y lo que creemos que, que trama, que es cambiar el pasado y bueno, dice que no es posible, pero más cosas locas hemos visto. No es fácil, eso está claro. Una gran ejemplificación. Tal vez quiera borrarse a sí mismo del pasado. Paimon, ¿estás bien? Solo es una conjetura. Así es, si es que la muerte se va a sí mismo, mucha gente de Inazuma se verá afectada. No puedo llegar ni a imaginar lo que eso supondría. En el peor de los casos, afectaría a todos aquellos relacionados con las cinco escuelas de Raiden, Kazuha, Ayaka, Ayato. ¿Quiere decir que ellos también desaparecerían? Pues no. Igual que yo. Dios, Paimon. Vale, nos vamos a dormir antes de que Paimon siga diciendo el nombre de platos de comida. Y ahora sí que sí, gente, parece que es el día siguiente y aquí está Paimon levantándose. Aquí está lo que había roto Paimon. Hola. Paimon, ¿qué ocurre? Um, 
no se acuerda de nada. Estabas muy preocupada por la escaramucha. ¿Cómo? Se ha olvidado de... ¿Qué dices? Paimon no recuerda escaramucha, no puede ser. ¿Lo ha logrado? Pero, como Esto no tiene sentido. O sea, nosotros nos acordamos, pero él no. No, no, no es nada. Um, vale, si de verdad lo ha logrado, tengo que averiguar qué más ha cambiado. Paimon, ven conmigo. Ostras. Tenemos que volver a Inazuma. No hay tiempo para explicaciones. Vamos. Bueno, pues lo que digo. Eh, se supone que esto lo hemos completado. Ahora tenemos una nueva misión que es la danza de la destrucción. Y parece que hay que hablar con Amenoma Togo. Todo esto lo haré en el siguiente vídeo. La verdad que me ha flipado bastante lo que hemos podido descubrir aquí de Wanderer. Ha estado muy guay. Pero creo que la historia va a seguir un poquito y estaría lo suyo, ¿no? Eh, chulo que lo tuviéramos todo en... En diferentes vídeos con las partes importantes de esta misión. Todo lo que ha pasado ha sido algo increíble hasta ahora. Y el tema del de plan de escaramucha final todavía puede ser algo que nos sorprenda. Así que lo veremos en el siguiente vídeo aquí en el canal. Espero que os haya gustado, que os lo hayáis pasado en grande como siempre. Y nos vemos viajeros por todo Teibat.